Hello everyone and welcome back to Mommy Talk. This is where I like to talk about my life and all things mommy. So here we are at week 17. This pregnancy is flying by. I cannot even believe that I'm already at 17 weeks. It just does not even feel like I have made it this far already. I don't know if it's because I'm so focused on what is already happening in my life and I've got I'm so busy already in my personal life and I've got so much going on already and I've got three kids already but it just seems like with each pregnancy it seems to have gotten faster and faster and faster with Parker's pregnancy it felt like it took a millennium like every week just seemed to drag on for years especially that those last couple months um Shaden it seemed to be going a little bit faster but still kind of dragged on with Lyric it just flew right by and this one is going even faster than that but anyway, I'm just rambling at this point. Now let's go on to our first segment, What's Up With Baby? So week 17, Baby is the size of an onion or a small pomegranate, which I don't have either of those. I'm so sorry. I promise by the time I get to the halfway mark, I will be so much better about getting my actual like visuals. I promise. Um, just, just not this week, not this week. So baby weighs approximately 5 ounces this week and is approximately 5.1 inches in length. So quite a bit of growth since my last vlog, which was 14 weeks. Um, and if you recall there, it was only like 1.5 ounces and only like 3.4 inches in length. So quite a bit of growth. Um, and obviously this is all just, you know, approximate, but still, Quite a bit of growth just in the past couple weeks. And some interesting baby tidbits. If baby turns out to be a girl, she has already formed at this point all of her eggs in her ovaries at this point. So any children that she might have in her future is already inside her, inside of me, which I think is just insane. Like that's so crazy to think about that any future possible grandchildren that I have is already like existent <laughs> inside of me. It's almost like grandkidception. <laughs> All of baby's senses are coming in at this point. So sight, sound, taste, touch, and smell, they're all coming in at this point and they are able to um, do the beginnings of all of five senses for that. So that's pretty neat. And speaking of senses, baby can now detect light within the womb. They can see and detect light um, through my stomach. I went ahead and created a baby gender pool. Um, I did this with Lyric and it was a lot of fun. I got quite a few responses and I wanted to go ahead and do it now. I've already set it up and quite a few of my friends and family have already joined in and made their guesses and I would love it if all of you guys joined in too so it's going to be what's in my belly.com and I'll also put the link in the description down below so you can go right to my pool enter in your guess for what you think baby's gender will be when you think baby will be born what their eye and hair color is gonna look like and a bunch of other details so it's a ton of fun it only takes a couple minutes to guess and it's absolutely free there's no charge for this. It's just just a fun little game to see if maybe you can get right and then at the end we'll add up some points and see who the winner is and maybe just maybe there might be a prize involved. I don't know yet but um, either way it's just for fun. All right and now for our next segment. What's up with mommy? Pretty boring stuff as far as um, what to, to report on what I'm feeling this week. Um, symptoms are pretty much the same old same old I'm still getting the occasional nausea it's really not as bad as obviously every week it gets a little bit better um, just this morning I woke up and it was immediately nauseous and had the girl throw up so that was not a fun way to wake up this morning but um, it's not like as constant as it was and it's really just kind of like okay I'm feeling really nauseous right now but it's definitely not as severe as obviously it was like in the first trimester I don't know if you can tell in this video, but I'm having, one of my symptoms is having major shortness of breath. It is so hard for me to talk. I cannot believe how early this has been setting on for me. Normally, I, f I just, maybe I'm not remembering right, but I feel like in my past pregnancies this didn't happen to like third trimester when baby was like huge and taking up like my whole abdomen. But I have been having to deal with the shortness of breath since like, I feel like 12 weeks since I first got to second trimester. So that's been kind of a pain to deal with. Um, especially when I eat, I get like really bad shortness of breath, um, which leads into my next symptom, which is how easily full I am. And I know that has partially to do with the fact that baby is obviously continuously growing bigger and, you know, pushing out and taking up more room. Um, but it really kind of sucks because I feel like my eyes are bigger than my stomach and I want to eat like a ton of food, but I take like 
I used to be able to eat like five pieces of pizza because I'm a pig and now I can eat like one slice of pizza with a sip of water and then I'm done for the whole day. <laughs> so it sucks. Obviously some of the obvious ones is constant, constant urination. Um, I always have to pee all the time, especially at night, which totally sucks because it literally wakes me up at night, like the feeling of my bladder being so full. Um, so I have to get up at least twice a night to go pee. It's light to moderate um, cramping, which um, is most likely due to just the stretching and the growing of my uterus. So that's pretty typical, pretty normal symptom, um, but I have been, it is inconvenient and uncomfortable. It's not something that, you know, is a comfortable symptom. I hate to say this even out loud, but definite mood swings. Like, oh my gosh, I'm so embarrassed to even say that, but it's true. I've been dealing with mood swings and thank God for my boyfriend for being so understanding and so patient with me, but I have been all over the place with my emotions between just being angry and moody and tired and irritable sometimes for no real good reason to being pretty like depressed and sad and overwhelmed and um i haven't really been crying a lot necessarily but i have been just feeling like the weight of um just my emotions constantly burdened on my shoulders and it's a really tough time for me i think this pregnancy because i've been really trying to stay above my depressed emotions due to just me being um, prone to depression anyway because of my history um, because of my family history my family medical history and then on top of me being just hormonal with this pregnancy and then I live in Michigan and we are in the winter season right now which I'm very prone to the winter blues it is a very real thing I know it's like a crazy phenomenon that some people don't believe in but it is very much a real thing um, just living for months without sun basically is just really really hard for me so I'm very very prone to the winter blues combine all three of those together and it's just been kind of a difficult time for me but I have been doing pretty good this this pregnancy but it definitely has been constantly there and you know constantly threatening to rear its ugly head as far as how much weight I've gained this week I actually don't know I'm sorry no don't want to be mad I still have not bought a scale so I actually don't know I, I know that I haven't been consistent in reporting my weight week to week but I am buying one this week hopefully so um, it's just been something that I have just to get around to and um, so yeah I will be purchasing a scale I will be keeping track of that every single week for you guys to let you know what's up and what's down what's normal what's not hopefully I won't gain too much weight this pregnancy and the last thing to kind of report on would be my cravings and I do have cravings to report this week um, three actually the first craving that I've been um, wanting a lot is Taco Bell's Crunchwrap Supreme I've actually had it like two or three times at this point because it's been something that I really, really, really want. And it is actually kind of weird for me because normally I don't really like Taco Bell. I don't really like to go there very often. The second craving that I have been having is those little Andes mints. Um, if you've never had them, they are so good. And then the third thing I've been craving is, um, this is going to sound so weird, don't judge me for this, half French vanilla coffee mixed with half hot chocolate from Speedway, the cheap little coffees that you can get for like a dollar there. Um, yeah, if you mix those two together, it's like super like major calorie sugar session intake, but it has been so good. So those are the three, three things that I have been craving a lot, and a lot of times I'll have all three at one time. Um, just because that's been like what I've wanted. So that's all I have to report for week 17. So I guess the only thing that's left to do is show you my 17 week belly. So that's it for my week 17 pregnancy vlog. If you guys have any questions for me, just go ahead and leave them down in the comment section down below and I will make sure to answer them in my next vlog. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe if you haven't already, share with your friends, and I will see you in the next video. Okay, bye guys!